hi friends welcome back to laravel tutorial in this video we are going to learn about the autocomplete right so we have a data inside the database and we can search from here right so if we just simply write s then we are getting all the value which are belongs to s and you can see here also and suppose s then h so we are getting more filter and in this way we are getting so all the records and we can select any of this right so in this video we're going to learn about these things so let's see so we just installed this laravel project and you're already running this project and this is my visual studio code and i have just created the database and connected with the laravel application so here is my database and i have migrated the basic tables which are provided by the laravel right so now i want to create a simple controller suppose i want to create a student controller and we'll search the students using the autocomplete okay so let's create a controller so php artisan make controller suppose controller name is student controller right and i am going to create a model also so write php artisan make model and the model name is student right and we will create a migration file so we are using the minus m so the model created and the migration also created just go to the visual studio code and i am closing now this i don't need this and refresh and here inside the data and here inside the database section we are getting the migration right so create student migration so i will just use a simple search so i need a column suppose table and this is the string type and the column name is suppose name right so we'll search the student by their name okay so this is a simple migration so just migrate this php artisan migrate okay so the database is migrated and if we just go here we can see the students tables are migrated so now just go to the browse and we can see there is empty so we need some records so simply i will create a function and we'll create a multiple records array and we'll insert this so first just go to the app and just close this app http and controller student controller right so here i will just create a function so it is public function add student right so here we will create a student array suppose students equal to i want to add the multiple data at a time so inside the array we will create another array so right here name suppose name is Sophia right and in this way I am just going to add multiple things and I will change the name so just write Sakib and write Elizabeth or you can say the Olivia so I am using the name that the many name actually because we can search so that we will get a proper output result so here write debit okay so these things right so now i am just created the model also so this is the model so just use the namespace path and use here and the model name that is the student right so slash student and use this and we can and we can insert data using the student model so just call this student and insert and just pass the variable that is students which we have just created right and simply return a message and write here student edit okay so let's create a routes for this so just route so just go to here routes and we are using the web.php and let's import the controller first so this is the controller namespace app http controller so use this and we'll use the student controller so just slash the student controller okay and i will call these functions to insert the student so simply 
just write route and we'll use the gate method and slash add student okay and name the controller student controller class and the method name so what is the method name so method name is add student right so already now just go here and just paste this and we can see the student added so if we just go to the database we can see the data is inserted okay so our data is ready and we don't need this function again because i just created this to insert some records right so let's directly go to the controller and create the search functionality so write public function search okay and we'll load a view from these search functions so write return view so also the view name is search okay so you can add any name i am using the same name right so just go inside the resource and views and create search dot blade dot php right so this is my search blade so just use the html royal template and change the name student search right so i will use the bootstrap so simply just go to the gatebootstrap.com and get started okay i will just use cdn so just copy this yes and paste it here and we need the javascript file also so this is the javascript okay so just copy this and paste it here and the next things we need to do we need to auto search right so how we can do this so we need to search bootstrap type ahead cdn right so cdn so just go here and here we'll get the cdn so just copy this right and paste this here and for this we need the jquery also actually we will use the ajax to call the functions so write a jquery so write jquery cdn okay so simply we don't need to do much things so actually we will get all the things inside the internet so just copy this jquery cdn and paste at the top of the all js right so my jquery cdn added my bootstrap js css added and also the type ahead is added okay so let's build the forms so just here we will create a form so we will create a defined link so first let's create a link so right here route get so my link will be suppose search and we'll use the student controller so just copy from previous colon colon class and my function name is search right so copy this and right here sorry inside the inmate comma right here okay so now if we just go here we can see our forms so currently we have not added anything so we can see only the heading that is the student search actually we have created this only right this student search so we'll use the bootstrap classes and we'll create a forms and from the forms we'll search right so we don't need the student model right now so i am removing this and inside the body right so inside the body we'll create simply container so this is all of the bootstrap class and inside the container we'll add the row class and inside the row suppose we are creating column md suppose 5 and offset sorry 5 sorry column md 5 and also add another that is offset md5 right so i can use the md4 at okay let's see how it's appearing then we'll change if we need anything so right and inside this we will simply use the curd so right here curd so this is also bootstrap class so inside the curd we'll use the card heading sorry 
spelling mistake card heading and we will create the card body right so card body okay so inside the card heading simply just write search student by name and here we'll create a simply from so right here from and close the from and we'll use the from group so right here from group and inside the from group we'll create the from control so right here input from control right so we don't need this anything much so just simply write a placeholder and in the placeholder we are writing simply these things search student by name dot dot right so let's see how it's appearing so just refresh this okay so this is nice but we need to make them more proper so simply i'm using the padding right so style padding top suppose 50 px now refresh okay so this is good enough. so we can work on this right so so now if we just type here we need some searching right so we need ajax and we'll call with the type ahead okay so we'll use the type ahead so just go here and create a skip tag so we already included the type ahead so we can use this so i am creating a class that is the same name you can use any name but i am using the same name so here we will write this input and dot type ahead so we will selecting this class so we can get the value from here type ahead dot type ahead okay so inside here we will create a simply closer functions and from the functions we will call the controller functions through the ajax okay so write simply source and here create a function so this is also a closer function and we'll pass two things that is value and the process right and here just write return and which will be the url so first declare the url so right here url and here the url will be we need to create the url suppose the url will be the route and suppose get student right or get result so this will be more perfect that is get result okay so we need to create these also so just simply go to the routes so here create route and get and the name will be the get result and i'm using the same also and just call the student controller colon colon class then the function suppose the function name is get result okay so let's create the get result inside here so just write public function get result okay so we'll add so we'll call this through the ajax so we'll use the request here so request dollar request okay so actually we will write the model query and fetch the record along with the search result okay so just go here and let's complete the process so return so we'll use the get ajax query so right here in this way get and we have created the url variable so just use the url and then we'll pass the value so here is the value and the next things 
we need to create another closer function and we'll use the process actually here okay so just write the data and this is the closer function so simply here write return process data okay so we can access data as it is closer function so we are using this right so this value actually will coming from the type ad right so i think all are ready now we need to create the logic to search so we need to use the like query to face the record so simply i am taking a variable that is data and we have already added this student model so we can use this data student and we'll use the get and who should be the get so use the select select name and how we can select so we need to search so write the search here so we'll add the where clause and inside here we will write the name and it will be the like so we'll use the like query and inside here we'll just use these while curves and we'll pass the value so actually we are getting the as a value right so we'll get the value from the request arrow value value okay and finally we'll need to return the result so simply just return the response uh, sorry return the response and we'll response to the json so write json and we'll send the data which I have getting from the database right so all things are ready so this is ready right so now just go to the browser and check how it's appearing so if you just check that is sophia sakib so suppose to type here as s so we can get sophia or sapik or if you just press o so we are getting the matches so in this way if we just write a we can get matches the all the records right so if we just simply write s we are getting two things if we just write in h so we are getting the filter from the result okay so very simply that is cool so we can use this type of search inside our application in a simply way right so we need to use the simply this type of code so we need to use this type ahead and this type of cdn and simply we have done nothing right so if you have any queries about this video please comment in the below comment section and next day i am going to discuss about some next topic so please support me so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye